Hi everyone, this is Nicholas Peter, and right now I'm talking to Luke Radowski of We Are Change. Uh, I really appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, thank uh, you, man. How did the conference go? It's not pretty good. A lot of good people, a lot of interesting speakers, uh, a good crowd. Uh, and it's good to see these type of events popping up pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I was surprised to even hear about it earlier this year. Um, you saw the turnout was really good? Yeah, the turnout was really good. A lot of good people, a lot of good vibes, a lot of good energy. Uh, overall, really a success, pretty much. Especially for a first time doing something in an area like this. Yeah, pretty well done. Yeah. Uh, what was your, your talk about? Uh, alternative media, what I've just been through in Hong Kong. Um, just, you know, riff-raffing off everyone else and uh, going off that. Okay. Um, so, like, I, my... The reason why I came here was for the workshop from Marcasio. What are your thoughts on Marcasio with natural law and cause and effect and all that kind of stuff? Well, I have some like you know, you know different point of views that he does. Uh, I like the way he like, breaks down things usually you know, kind of very logically, very pointedly. Uh, he can go on for a while. Uh, it's interesting to have a point of view from a Satanist, uh, which is uh, you know something that you don't really find often. Yeah, uh, so that's a kind of unique point of view, but uh, I disagree with him on some things. Uh, but uh, overall, you know, he's a fascinating guy and he's interesting to listen to. Yeah. Um, what are some tips for people that are maybe really wanting to get into this kind of space, but are just really like, like I'll put it in my shoes, like I'm, I can be a coward at times in getting things done and going out there, putting my feet on the ground and talking to people and first face to face. What would be some tips that you would give someone like that? Uh, swivel the camera, <laughs> uh, have fun with it, and just don't be afraid. Just do it. Uh, the only thing stopping you is you, and once you kind of get rid of things limiting you, you can do whatever you want. And nothing's really out there in the world that can stop you from achieving whatever you want to achieve if you really want to achieve it. So it's really a question of do you really want it? So that's something that you kind of got to ask yourself. Do you really want it? If you don't, that's okay too. But if you really do, you're going to do everything you can to make it possible. Yeah. Um, so I know with, um, I know like a few months back, I forgot how many months ago, but you guys did like a, who's the gentleman you work with? Um, oh no, I'm solo. Oh, I'm you're solo right? now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what was his name? Um, oh no, he did. I have no idea. What he did, uh, about? what happened with you two? I'm not sure. Uh, split apart. Um, you know, we have our differences. It didn't go over nicely. I'm very disappointed. I'm very sad about how the entire situation unfolded. Uh, but, you know, things happen. You don't always see eye to eye with people. People always have their own ambitions. You can't fault people for that. And uh, just kind of moving along my own way, and he's moving along his way. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, there's enough drama that we have to deal with in this world. There's no need to put more of it in there. Wow, yeah, because I, I think I just saw that he had a YouTube channel, but I didn't, like, I haven't been following, I haven't been getting closely with you guys recently, so I haven't, I didn't notice that. Um, that's unfortunate. This stuff happens. It wasn't, what's the word here? Amlovicable? <laughs> I guess that's the word here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, we still got a lot of important work to do, and that's what I focus on instead of the little petty bull crap. Yeah. Uh, he took the, nah, I yeah, got what matters is the work, and the work will always speak for itself. Yeah, that's why I do what I do, that's why I you know, bust my butt, that's why I try to be on the scene, and um, that's why I try to be different than a lot of other people. Yeah. Um, so I know he did a video on, on QAnon, and for me it's like, I'm eh, on it. Like I can see where people are, are seeing some things in that regard, but I still see it as maybe, if anything, some lower level people getting caught in something, and which are just expendable people in general, and I don't see it as any sort of real problem solution. Well, we had many different disagreements, and I'm the type of person that I've never censor or uh, stifle or manipulate a situation, because like, even when we did have different opinions, I was like, say whatever you want to say. Now, let's have yeah. an argument, let's have a conversation, uh, and as you saw, we had a lot of differences of opinion. Yeah. So, I think that's how debates and thoughts should grow. So what are your thoughts, your personal thoughts on the whole QAnon thing? You still... I'm extremely skeptical of it. Yeah. We still have Dan Dick's subscribe button go on back. Put the camera on Dan. Say hi, Dad. Hello. <laughs> Alt-media, old G. <laughs> um, 
what are some like have you thought about doing any sort of gardening or any sort of like natural thing do you use natural products do you yeah, try yeah. to avoid the chemicals and gmos i'm assuming of course yeah of course so that's always a big important factor to it all all right well uh i really appreciate your time it, it means the world to me i really respect you and what you do no problem. and thank you so much yeah, all right guys have a great day